Let's go over an overview of a database. A database is an organized collection of data stored and accessed electronically from a computer system. Databases are managed by DBMS, Database Management Systems, a query language such as SQL, which stands for Structured Query Language. SQL has statements that read and write data, create and delete tables, and administer the database system. Also, SQL is oftentimes pronounced as SQL. And database applications also manage databases. Small databases that are shared by one or two users can be managed in a text file or spreadsheet. For example, it might make more sense to just use Excel to manage a small amount of data, but as your spreadsheet grows in size and becomes more complex, you may want to switch over to a database. Databases have many different types of user roles and also may have the following requirements. There's authorization, where users should need authorization to access specific data found in tables, columns, or rows of a database. There's security, so database systems need to be secure to make sure that authorized users can only access certain data and also that the data should be encrypted to prevent hackers from gaining access to the data. There's performance. You want your database to be fast, especially when it's large, but the larger it gets, the slower your database queries become. And you can structure your data in a way to process your queries more efficiently. And then there's rules. So data may need to be consistent with structural and business rules, such as making, the, making sure the data is complete and accurate. And if there are more than one database copies, then they should also be in sync with each other. And databases may also require recovery. Databases, database transactions, and even hardware may fail. So database systems must somehow recover from these failures and restore the database to a consistent state to prevent the loss of data.